we shall see. So welcome guys to the first ever cooking stream here on Cocktails and Consoles. God, I've been struggling with this system all day. I've almost forgotten the name of the show. Hope you guys are doing well. Mike uh, sounds pretty good to me. Oh, thank God. This is going to be a regular going forward. Every Sunday, we're just going to be cooking Sunday dinner together. You know, it's just so much fun to hang out. And I've got a great recipe for you guys because I don't know where you are, but here it is bitterly cold. And on cold days like this, you just want a nice big bowl of something warm and especially with something bread and butter and all the pieces together. And I'm going a little blind. I'm gonna pop up the view here so I can see a little bit better. Why for you not let me? Really? Wow, I can't even do that. Okay, you know what, computer? We're just fine then. I know, I'm gonna be really careful not to knock the mic off. Ryan, what's up, dude? How are you doing? Holy Moses, I gotta say hi to some people really fast. What is up, dude? Ryan, Queen Kai, Andrew, Asher, Ken, Russ, Serena, Zoe, scrolling, scrolling, Lily, Bill. I think I got Andrew. I don't know. I'm running out of memory now. Just like my computer. Melissa. Did I get everybody? RNF, what's up? R41N. Rainfire. That's right. I forgot. That's how you go by. Will. Ama. Did I get everybody? I hope I got everybody. So sorry for the way, way late start. And hello, lovely chat. Hello, lovely chat. So I'm going to do my best to try to keep up with chat, but hopefully you guys saw it in the thumbnail. We are making spring chicken stew with herb biscuits, and I'm going to try to do everything I can to keep all the prep here. But first, because this is cocktails and consoles, we got to start with a drink. Oh my God. So this is just a cheap bottle of Chardonnay that I got not only for our stew, but also for our chef who has been playing tech support all morning. So grab yourself a drink of whatever's nearby, raise it to the sky, and cheers. I hope you guys are having a lovely, lovely Sunday. Oh my God, Andrew, thank you so much for the donation. Oh, I hope the alerts go through. I, I don't even know anymore. It's 7.30 a.m. Holy Moses. You are dedicated. I like want to do a jig when that sound starts, but this wine would end up all over the floor. Okay. Sergeant Movie, what's up, dude? How are you doing? My coffee will do. Coffee works fine. I wish I had some this morning. All right. So I'm going to try to play back the ingredients as best I can. The ingredients for the uh, spring chicken stew is actually really, really simple. It's basically chicken, potatoes, and any kind of melange of veggies that you want. Um, I stick with the basics. We've got carrots, we've got celery. I throw in some peas at the end for a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of crunch. Uh, and I use green onions and garlic as my base. Did I forget Quicksilver? I'm sorry, Quicksilver. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I This is just gonna have to be a little bit of me in training here trying to keep up with everything so bear with me guys if I missed your message I apologize I will try to get to it coffee is kicking in nice what kind of coffee you guys have it? all right so we are going to start with prepping our carrots first because we've got to pair these so the nice thing about this kitchen is that my prep station is right next to my sink, which is gonna make cleanup a hell of a lot easier. All right, what did I do with my hair? Hello, oh, there you are. Okay, ooh, mocha sounds good. You're doing, thank you, Andrew. I really appreciate that, the support, guys. Been a long ass time since I've shown up to a stream. I missed you, Sergeant Movie, what move B? What you been up to, dude? Okay, now I'm gonna be a little bit careful with this because the last time I tried making shepherd's pie with this peeler, it decided it wanted a trophy and uh, took off the 
tip of my ring finger. Which I guess is fine. It wasn't exactly doing anything anyways. But still, it's like, um, no. $2 peeler. You don't get to win. Not like I get to win. But I don't let these things win. And really, it just happened because I wasn't paying attention. So this in chat is going to be a little bit <laughs> tricky. So if you are cooking along with us, Please, whenever you have a board on your knife, keep your focus there. You can put me on audio. Oh, you can mute me for whatever you want. Just be very careful. All of a sudden, reading the recipe made me hungry. It's a really great recipe. It's nice and simple, too. It's kind of a melange of a bunch of different recipes that I saw. And again, you can make it your own. As long as you just have like equal parts chicken to equal parts potatoes and veggies, you're good. You can twist this up any way you want. Oh, I may not have put flour on the list. You're gonna need some flour for this because we gotta thicken this. I use a vertical peeler. I'm trying these Y peelers because there's supposedly chefs like them more. I don't know. All right, so I'm learning really quickly. I'm gonna have to get a dedicated mic over here. So thank you all for your donations because that's the first place that's going to. Ay, ay, ay. I don't really feel my carrots as long as you scrub them well, you don't really notice the difference. It's true. Um, there are some super tasters out there that can taste the bitter compounds on um, on the carrots. So I, I'm just in the habit of feeling them. I missed you too, dude. Coaching, lots of coaching and conferences and even more coaching. Starting a business is no picking. You start a business? Dude. That's amazing. What do you do? Well, I'm, I'm, like, I'm guessing it's coaching, but coaching what? Okay. I'm going to have to periodically check over on chat. I hope you guys like the outline. It's, it's kind of a basic start. Uh, if you guys have any ideas for expanding ways to twist it up, let me know. I decided to go kind of minimalist. Shut up, phone! At least at the start. I have ring alerts, so anytime like a cat walks by, it's like, oh my god, you've got an intruder. Oh, I did that one already. Cool. I'm catching up. I'll stop describing my taste buds. <laughs> the stream, I gotta start dinner. Creole herb, whole roasted chicken, sauteed green beans, and mashed potatoes and chicken gravy. That sounds so good. Hey, Alex Hall, what's up, dude? Yeah, tell me what you guys are making for dinner tonight. I promise you guys, the prep of the veggies is the only part that takes the most effort and time. I'm going, oh, you're the one taking the coaching. I'm starting a voiceover business. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, my sister really wanted to be a, a voice actress when she was younger because she wanted to, you know, she loved computer games and she wanted to be a part of it. And, and now she's a software developer, but now she gets to come and hang out and stream with us. Bill, thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate it. That is so cool of you. All right, I don't know how loud this is gonna be in the mic, but now contrary to popular belief, this doesn't technically sharpen your knives. What this is doing is straightening the blade. And again, you're gonna wanna keep your eye on this, so no watching chat, Melissa. <laughs> this is called a honing blade. You can get them for about 20 bucks. Um, if you guys are interested, I'm working on putting together a, a kitchen basics video for people who like, you know, you're, you just moved out on your own or you're in college and you just need like the basics to cook with. I'm scouring the internet, uh, trying to find some great like low cost options to have just the most basic kitchen uh, kit. So if that's something you guys are interested in, let me know. Hey Nino, what's up? All right, now for this, we're gonna wanna cut our uh, chicken and our veggies into about the same size pieces so it all cook uh, more uniformly. Oh, thank you, Andrew. Show the crowd your knife. That looks fancy. It, is it kind of pretty? I, I am a huge fan. Honestly, the um, the dents on this 
really don't do much more than to help uh, your knife to not stick to whatever you're cutting. So it's a huge help on potatoes, but really, it, God, it just looks so damn pretty. <laughs> I love it. This wasn't cheap. I think it was like a hundred bucks over at uh, Sur La Table, but Sur La Table's not a good place to get knives. They'll never sponsor me, but they'll never see this. So that's <laughs> fine. Do you sharpen your own knives? No. Um, best to have a professional sharpen your knives. And the reason for that is because you need a whetstone and you need to keep the blade at a very particular diagonal. Otherwise you can destroy your knives. Now, my parents have one of those electric sharpeners and they swear by them, but they have cheap knives. So you ever seen those commercials where someone takes a knife and they cut through a can? Well, yeah, on the first pass, any knife will do that. Try cutting that can like 60, 70 times after that. It's not gonna work. So anytime you see someone cutting through a can, note that that knife will never cut through anything else after that. The, that Damascus knife looks really pretty, Ama. I do wanna do gaming performance capture on commercial and narration. That's great, you have a great voice for that. We have our own whetstone, so Bill, or in the very rare instances, I will sharpen them. Nice. It's something I've wanted to do. Actually, what I really want to do, I've wanted to make my own kitchen knife, but I do not have the tools for that. All right. So we're going to take a bowl and just shove our pieces in here. This is warm. I made some iced coffee. Ooh, that sounds good. You know, expensive my pocket knife costs a hundred dollars and it's easy to sharpen knives if you are skilled at it yes but it does take some practice because you have to keep that angle otherwise you're basically just ripping off pieces of your knife <laughs> what's for dinner tonight i don't cook my stepdad does his homemade chicken sh oh you're having schnitzel you lucky i love schnitzel I know, right, Andrew? I love, we should make chicken schnitzel. If you're wondering what that is, it's basically deep fried chicken in a nice flat patty. Oh, it's so good. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Best bet is get a dollar store knife and learn how to sharpen on that. That's not a bad idea. That is a great idea, actually. What some people recommend doing is getting one of those um, binder clips. You know, the ones that look like alligator clips. That's what they call them, uh, but not for your hair. Get one of those and fasten it to your knife. It's supposed to help keep it on that angle, but I haven't tried that yet. My mom made corned beef with potatoes last night. Oh, I love a good corned beef. Okay, so a little tip if you haven't seen our carrots episode is Unfortunately, not all carrots are, wow, that looks really pornographic. Um, not all carrots are sized the same. Most carrots you're gonna find are thicker at the base and skinnier at the bottom. So the best way to get to even sizes is cut thinner when you get up to the thicker pieces and cut at a diagonal when you're cutting at the uh, thinner pieces. Now, uh, weirdly enough, all the uh, carrots I managed to get are all relatively the same size from start to finish, so I can't really show you but on our cooking from scratch video, we go into how to do the diagonal cut on uh, carrots. Form this morning so quick, made up some iced coffee. Nice. I have a request, soup in a bread bowl for a future vid. I will add that to the list, sir. You know what, you're in England. What are some good English favorites? Like I make scotch eggs, those are great. Um, I love a good Guinness stew. You can confirm it works really well and it puts the angle for you. You just glide your knife down. Nice. I used to have a whetstone like way back in the day. I don't know if I want to go through actually sharpening my knives or most places like they just send a van around and to your house and you can just sharpen them in their van, which is sounds creepy. It's not creepy. All right, let me catch up here. So the, uh, Spiderco sharp maker. It's a vertical sharpener with ceramic rods. Nice. 
Hmm. Tonight is Beyond Burgers with Rice. Sounds good. Ooh, Queen Kai's trying to make a pavlova. Funny you mentioned that. Because if you made a pavlova before, we're trying to make, by we, I mean me, um, for the upcoming Final Fantasy VII release, we're going to be doing uh, chocobo cupcakes. But we're going to be fashioning the chocobos out of how you would basically make a pavlova. I haven't tested this yet, but that's the idea that I'm going with. And I am super excited, not only because, you know, Final Fantasy VII is finally coming out, yay, um, unless that gets pushed too, like Cyberpunk did, but I get to wear my Sephiroth outfit. Okay. Carrots are done. Let's take a crack at our celery. Gray said as a kid, he used to just grab carrots from the fridge and just eat the skin and all. Ooh, sometimes added cheese. That sounds good. Yes, chocobo cupcakes. I cannot wait. All right, we're going to have to move all of you because we got to wash this stuff. It's one downside to anything that grows in the ground is that you really got to wash them. Because while the celery may look pretty, look at the inside. Oh. It's just nasty. Thankfully, it washes off pretty easily. I love carrots. Me too. I braise them in, um, what is that? Cream soda with butter. Oh, they're so good. All right. So same thing, we're gonna keep the same proportion. So we did four carrots, we're gonna do four celery. But first, we're gonna clean off our board because yikes. Field carrots I could eat all the time, right? Trying to Julianne. Oh yeah, Julianne anything is ugh, time intensive. Only started liking carrots. Thank you, taste buds. You know it's weird because the stuff we like as a kid may not be the stuff that we like as adults, and vice versa. Like as a kid, I weirdly liked asparagus. Hate asparagus now. Oh. Have you guys ever found that to be the case too? Like stuff that you hated as a kid you now like as an adult or vice versa? If I may make a request because I love Italian food, chicken parm with fettuccine alfredo. You're in luck. We actually did chicken parm uh, on cooking for scratch. From scratch. From scratch. Uh, but we can definitely do it again uh, as a cooking live stream. I love making chicken parm. All right, let's go ahead and take care of these. I really should get one of those compost bowls. So if I happen to miss your message, if you wanna do the at cocktails consoles, uh, it'll ping it in um, highlighted text. Makes it a little bit easier to see. go just like that thank you Nina and for those of you inquiring yes I am in the process of redoing the whole mod situation um, I just got done putting the rules together I didn't have time uh, between then and now to kind of send out the communication in discord so keep an eye on discord if you are interested in being a moderator I'll put the calling all cards in discord um, just note that we will be adding moderators slowly until, you know, we, we the numbers start to balance uh, things out because, and it's the same thing with Twitch, you know, especially here on YouTube, when new people walk in and they see a wall of wrenches, it can look a little intimidating. I was pregnant, my mom would tell me how much I would love, oh yeah, pregnancy definitely affects, not that I would know, but I've heard. Pregnancy definitely affects uh, your cravings because supposedly that the baby is sending you cravings. Which let's hope if I ever become pregnant <laughs> that my baby likes the same foods that I do and they don't like, what's something disgusting that I hate? 
asparagus or really I think it's just asparagus that I hate oh or sea urchin oh and I can't handle sea urchin no wall of oranges we might call you catch catch you a mechanic you know what I wouldn't turn that down I'm not gonna lie, a nice benefit to being married is that there's someone in the house that has more technical skill than me at practically everything. <laughs> oh. They probably could have had this whole tech issue fixed like in five minutes, what took me 40 minutes to fix and then with the whole mic issues. I don't know what's up with that mic because I recorded uh, voiceover for an upcoming uh, uh, kitchen setup video and it seemed fine, but I don't know why it's just having an issue now. It's bizarre. No, that's okay, Ender. British favorites. Oh my god, I just made Yorkshire puddings for the first time like a couple of months ago. You people are so lucky. Those things are magic. All right, we're gonna have to make some Yorkshire pudding when I make uh, corned beef. I know it doesn't go together, but fuck it. I'm gonna make it go together. No, don't worry about it, Andrew. It's okay. This is the first one, so I'm trying to get a rhythm with keeping up with text. That's not on you, or chat, that's not on you guys, that's on me. So I, I appreciate the second notice, especially if I miss something. And I know there's a bit of a lag going on. Although it looks like YouTube has finally calmed their shit, which thank God, because you know they want to be a player in the live stream space. And I definitely appreciate everyone who came over from Twitch. I know like, Changing platforms is the bane of any kind of uh, streaming community because, you know, people have their favorites, and rightly so. But it is so cool seeing some very familiar faces. Corned beef is a St. Patrick's Day staple in Michigan. Hell yeah, it is. Do you braise yours in Guinness too? Oh, that reminds me of the um, corned beef and cabbage rolls that I made. Oh, that was good. In a Guinness sauce. Oh. If you guys are looking for great leftovers, and I'm going to be moving all those videos over to cocktails and consoles so you guys don't have to keep chasing two channels. Uh, we use leftover uh, corned beef to make corned beef and cabbage rolls in a uh, Guinness and sour cream sauce, and it was heaven. Oh, it was so good. Oh, thank you, Nina. Oh, cinnamon scrolls? Cinnamon scrolls or cinnamon rolls, Queen Kai? Because cinnamon scrolls sounds interesting. Yes to the Guinness, but no to the cabbage. The smell of cooking cabbage makes me nauseous. Fair enough. It, it's definitely not for everyone. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I'm going to do potatoes, too, on this board. All right. So for the potatoes, ooh, we need to clean these. The potatoes that we're using here are called pecan gold. When it comes to the world of potatoes, there's like a, a sliding scale. You have your russets over here and you have your red potatoes over here. Red potatoes are waxy potatoes and they don't fall apart when you cook them in water. Russet potatoes are very mealy and they do fall apart in water. That's what makes them great for mashed potatoes. You can make mashed potatoes out of red potatoes, but they're gonna be very chunky. Uh, you can also use russet potatoes in a stew, but it's gonna fall apart. So that's why I like Yukon gold potatoes because they sit right in the middle. They'll hold up in a stew and they make a pretty damn good mashed potato. All right. Now, caution when you are cutting potatoes because these are slippery little bastards even before you wash them and they will get away from you. Toad in a hole. I've always wondered what the hell toad in a hole is because that's not a friendly name. There's basically sausages baked in Yorkshire pudding batter. Yum! Thank you, Andrew. My friend can't really handle the smell of cooking mince 
as it's too gamey for her. Fair enough. That makes total sense. All right, so we're going to cut this sucker. What am I? I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't realize I had my wine right there. So we're going to start cutting these in half so we can lay them on the board. And we're going to want to keep these the same size as our veggies so they'll all cook about the same. So let's cut these into like these kind of chunks. Now I want mashed potatoes. I know it's, it's going to be the downside of the cooking stream is that it's going to make you super hungry. I'm already like super hungry and I'm still cooking. See, this is what those, um, knives what the divots is supposed to do it's supposed to prevent this from happening it doesn't always work actually well technically what's supposed to do is it's supposed to reduce drag so when you're cutting like a piece of meat raw meat that's where you really notice it so if your knife is nice and completely flat and you try to drag it along meat you notice that it's pulling the meat because there's uh, friction going on between the knife and the meat the holes in there is supposed to break up that friction so it's not supposed to grab the meat as much. That looked real. I'm never going to do that graphic again. <laughs> um, I peel potatoes sometimes. For applications like this, no. Because um, it, it kind of helps it to hold together a little bit more. Uh, if I'm doing like a super whipped potato, like I'm trying to do something fancy for Instagram, yes, I will uh, peel potatoes. But normally, like when I make just mashed potatoes, I kind of like having a little bit of the uh, skin in there because I, to me, for me, one, it gives it texture. Two, peeling potatoes is a lot of friggin' work. And I don't like to do it. Ooh, this one's got a boo-boo. Let's get rid of that. And by the way, if you're cutting into a potato and you see anything like that, get rid of that piece. Okay, you could try making Polish, I cannot even pronounce that word for Fat Tuesday. What is that? That sounds good. Got a container of pre-made mashed potatoes in the freezer. Awesome. You'll have to let me know how the texture is on those. Just puts me in the mood to cook. I know, right? That is true, Amma. There is a lot of nutrition that's in the skin of a potato. I really got to crank up the visibility on chat. <laughs> I remember cutting my thumb on a feeler while peeling potato. Right? Yeah. Like, it's super wasteful, but when I got everything to make uh, shepherd's pie, and the first thing that happened was I just gouged my finger on... What was I even peeling at that point? I want to say I was peeling potatoes and like blood started gushing. I'm like, that's it. I'm going out to dinner. I don't care. I, I threw everything away. I was just so mad. It's not the fault of the, pe uh, the peeler. I should have been paying more attention, but like this house has been having a lot of issues that I've been struggling with trying to get done and fixed that, you know, it, it's the straw that broke the camel's back. The issue itself is so minuscule, but compared to what else you've been dealing with, it's enough to make you snap. That's a type of Polish donut. Oh, you sold me. Mm, we got some sprouts on here, so let's get rid of those. So if your uh, potato has started sprouting a little bit, it means it's about ready to turn, so just cut those pieces off. As long as the inside of the potato looks like that, you're okay. Hello, shirt. Let's not give away the farm, honey. I would love to make donuts. Um, there's actually a place nearby that makes custom, on-demand donuts. And they're crazy good. You're wondering, like, what is that, Krispy Kreme? No, these are the cake donuts that are even better. Yeah, I'll say it. Krispy Kreme, not that great. It's so covered in sugar, like you can't even really taste the uh, the donut, which is so sad. All right, this one's 
I'm gonna get rid of that piece. And that piece. Has to be creative when cooking because Princess Kai, while she's in fussy or picky, she can get bored. That's tricky with kids because, like, if you look at the palette of what kids like to eat, it's brown. Anything fried, anything breaded, they love it. But that also really limits your choices. I'm green on that. Sadly, their cinnamon ones aren't bad. That's true. The cinnamon one is, is pretty decent. Now, there are some applications that uh, Krispy Kreme donuts are really good for. And that is my recipe for uh, a French toast bake. Tazaki is the name? That sounds kind of familiar. Michigan has a big Polish history. You know, I've heard about that. Hey, Emmy. Can I up the, hold on. There we go. Whoa, okay, I'm not grandmother visibility yet. Now I can see. Okay, now I can keep up with chat a little bit better. Whoo! Someone reminded me I cranked up the view or the zoom on my um, <laughs> laptop. And I go to watch Netflix later tonight. I'm like, why is everything so large? Oh, because I'm blind. I'm really not. I just have like massive lights in my face. So if I look up and I look into those lights and then I go to look at the laptop and I can't see it. I am happier. Let's put it that way. Um, it's been a lot of, well, okay, let me put it this way. It is a lot easier for things to go wrong than it is for things to go right. The rule of entropy is absolutely true. If left to itself, things will dissolve into chaos. It absolutely happens. I did nothing really to prepare this house to be ready. I didn't double check anything and I paid the price for it. So it's been a whole month of trying to fix things on the fly. And I've never owned a home before. So, you know, I'm freaking out going, oh my God, the top of my refrigerator just exploded. What the hell do I do? So, I mean, overall, I mean, like you can see, the house is really nice. It's just fixing a lot of issues. And yes, the house tour video is coming. I'm waiting on one big overstuffed chair to show up and then I can give you guys the tour. So if you would like to see that when it is ready, if you want to hit the subscribe button down below, that would be awesome. Some pronounce it punch key with an emphasis on the U and punch. I'm going to horribly butcher that so I'm not even going to attempt. There's a donut store in Melbourne that makes apple pie donuts. Yum! My favorite unique donut place is Voodoo Donuts. Ah, there well, I used to live by a Voodoo Donuts. I don't know if they're all owned the same or run the same, but they would have like crazy kind of donuts. Super cool. All right, we're gonna cut these a little bit thinner because the pieces themselves are pretty wide. You got a certificate of occupancy inspection, right? They would have to check on all safety issues a house can have. I did not know that. I will definitely inquire about that. Thank you. My mouth is healed from the wisdom teeth removal. That's great. That was pretty quick. You must have Wolverine level healing there. I didn't even know to ask for that. And for all you new people here, first of all, Welcome to the first inaugural, I already cut that, cooking stream. We've been working out some issues with the stream, so apologies. The quality will hopefully get better and better. Uh, if you are here for the first time, welcome. My name is Melissa, aka Cocktails and Consoles. And Sundays is just a day for us to cook dinner together and just hang out and have fun and listen to hopefully cool music. Because this is YouTube, unlike Twitch, we can't play the radio, which blows. Um, okay, so all of our big veggies are pretty much done. The next thing we're gonna move to is what I like to call the base, which is garlic, onions, anything really of that stature. Where are my green onions? Now, because this is a spring onion, or spring onion, yeah, that would actually be really good. A spring chicken stew, I decided to skip going with regular onions, and we are going with spring onions. 
I actually happen to prefer using spring onions because they're just a lot easier to work with. Plus, you get onion part here, you get chive part here, so you get herbs and onions. It's a slightly milder flavor than uh, a white onion, and it's just a lot easier to cut. The only problem I have with my house is my neighbors. I had that same issue too. Uh, they got a Bose system uh, that is super powerful on the base. And they are older folks, so their hearing isn't as good. So sometimes they can sound like a rock concert through that wall. Arizona law requires that as well. That's good to know. You know, it's possible that they did give it to me. I just can't get off the table. You little brat. What, do you think I don't see you? Get down. It's crazy. Good job. Was it worth it? My gosh. I do not have the smartest cat sometimes. Since you're in a new home, will Death Road to Canada be coming back? Not only is it coming back, we are streaming it tomorrow night at 7 p.m. So we are bringing back Multiplayer Mondays, also known as hashtag Suck It Mondays. Uh, so we are going to be playing Death Row to Canada, Jackbox, uh, Matter of Murder, all different kinds of games that you guys can either play with or be a part of. So again, if you'd like to hang out with us and you'd like to get the notification, if you want to hit that subscribe button down below, that would be awesome. Now, same thing with your celery. You're going to want to wash green onions because they can be a little dirty. Go crazy. You do your thing. Not over my table, she doesn't. I The join button should be there. I don't know where it is uh, because this channel is monetized. I don't, maybe I suppressed it because I didn't have content specific for that. I don't know. I'm going to have to look into that. All right. So unlike the veggies we just got done with, the green onions we're going to cut up a little bit smaller because we can't manage to match that size. There we go. We're going to get rid of the bottoms here. I'm going to leave a little bit of white. Dennis Moore, how tall are you? Well, depending on what uh, convenience store I'm walking out of, I'm either 5'6", five, 5'7", five, on a good day, without heels. There we go. I've been using bad form all this time. No one stopped me. All right, we're gonna cut those up to about yay big. You look short. It's probably because of my camera. It's being weird. <laughs> Chibi size matters why. Chibi Mel! Oh, yeah, down there. <laughs> yeah, she's about two inches on a good day. But then again, she just lays on a piano all day. So she has the good life. All right, so we're going to chop up these chives. Why did I mix them together? We're actually going to want to keep the chives away from the onions because we're not gonna add these in until the very end. There we go. Still taller than me. How tall are you? She's taller than my girlfriend. Really? Well, I mean, they do grow them a little bit tall out here in the desert. Da -da 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 -da. There we go, separating out the green onions. Did you answer what I asked earlier? You've got to tag me. Chat is going super fast, honey. Oh, you're five one? Ah. Not always a bad thing. Cause then that leaves open a whole bunch of people that you get to be like just a little bit taller so you fit into the crook of their neck when you're hugging them. It's my favorite. You're six three? God damn. You giant. What is your favorite part of your new home? The kitchen. Hands down. The I'm not going to lie. Look at this kitchen. 
this is the reason why I bought this house, and this is the reason why I bought this house. So for all the other YouTubers out there who are like, I spent all this money on my stream. $300,000 for a stream. Pop that, Logan Paul. What state do you live in? I live in the desert. Yeah, you are allowed to repost, just please don't spam. Um, it will get easier and easier for me to keep up with chat. It's just really hard when I'm chopping something because you don't want to take your eyes off when you have a knife on the board. If your knife's on the board, your eyes are on the board. Let me do this over here. No, 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 it's okay, Emmy. We're doing this for um, these streams because it's chat has been popping so fast, which is so great. I'm so glad you guys are loving this. But I want to make sure I'm staying on top of, you know, like, when people are talking to me directly versus when people are kind of talking, you know, amongst themselves. Because, again, you guys know me. I never want to be that streamer that ignores chat. <laughs> oh, I can't stand it when people do that. Need a 5-4, five, 5-5. Five, five. Ah! I eat dessert. We will be having some desserts in these streams. I just got to figure out what I'm making first. It'll probably be for, um, oh yeah, I think we'll do it for our Valentine's Day stream. Now, I don't know what day uh, of the week Valentine's specifically falls on. I'm hoping it's not Sunday because then no one's going to be here. Uh, but I like to do singles Valentine's. And so for this Valentine's stream, it's going to be living la vida single. So the recipes are going to be packed with garlic and just the messiest things. You are too embarrassed to eat in front of a date. So you eat them here. And we celebrate to the awesome life that single people can have. I'm so excited for your old stream stuff to come back. Thank you. It's on a Friday. Okay. So Friday. Take the time with your loved ones. Have a very lovely and romantic Valentine's Day. And then Sunday, party people, we are breaking out the garlic. Would you like my triple chocolate trifle? We could totally do that. As long as it's not like a uh, Rachel from Friends trifle, I'm totally down for that. Okay, we may actually have a little too much green onion here, which I know would never be the issue, but for this application. You want to eat something other than green onion. All right. So I'm going to save these to the side for another time. Now we just need to crack some garlic and we're good to go. This stream only on Mondays. Can't believe it's been that long since then. Yeah, it's been like, Jesus, what? Three, four years? Who thought I'd stay here this long? Crying buns does not work. That's okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah, if you like puns, you and Nina are going to get along fabulously. All right. So, time to crack into some garlic. I'm going to do about four cloves, I think. Make Rachel's trifle. <laughs> and beef with uh, sauteed with peas and onions. I think, God, who will, I think binging with Babish actually made it. Two spec was not good, if I remember correctly. Okay, now it's probably gonna be a bit of a mess to see on the board, but peeling garlic is a pain in the ass. And you see all that paper on there? You don't want any of it in your dinner. So being very careful, put your knife on top, take the heel of your hand, and you're just gonna press down. Now, people who are a lot stronger than me, AKA Gordon Ramsay, can actually do that and practically like decimate 
uh, the garlic. I cannot. Normally what I can do is just crack it enough that getting the paper off is <laughs> what's doable. A couple years ago I made a New York cheesecake with raspberry puree and dark chocolate ganache. Ooh, that's a good idea. Maybe we should make a cheesecake. Remember when it was your third Jackbox stream on YouTube when I joined? Oh yeah! Come on. Get off. Thank you. Alright, that's two. We got some big fellows here. Normally it's bad form to lift your hand and smack it down because you could hit the blade. So generally if you're just doing this for the first time, keep your hand on the blade and press down. But I need a little extra help there. I just cut off one in peel. That also works too. I just find this helps me get started on uh, mincing this. Does YouTube still have the share button? I don't know anymore. I was gonna say, if you guys are enjoying the stream, you know anyone else who might like it, you wanna send them the URL, that'd be great. I did not mean for that to sound as angry as that came out. Oh, bye, Queen Kai! Before she comes home, cool. My mom were heading back to college and we saw Gordon Ramsay billboards him having claws like Wolverine. Ah, nice! Put the garlic clove in a glass mason jar with the lid and shake it hard for like 30 seconds. Dens, I, you know, I've heard that actually works. I haven't tried it yet. Oh, this is actually two pieces. Um, but I want to try it because I tend to have a lot of mason jars. Because <laughs> those are my cocktail shakers. All right, so we're going to cut off the bottom. Wow, this board's starting to look like a right mess. This one looks like it's got a bit of a boo-boo, so we're going to cut that off. Just like with potatoes, if you see boo-boos on there, get rid of them. I didn't do it. I don't have them nearby. Ooh, lemon meringue pie, that sounds good. I, you know, I keep thinking that I have a garlic press and every time I go to look for it, I don't have it. And I realize I gave it to my parents uh, cause theirs really needs some help. All right, so we're just going to mince this a bit. So oh, it's just cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting till they're nice little pieces. I'm just gonna get all these pieces started and then we're gonna mince. By the way, if there's any new people here to the stream, welcome. We are making spring chicken stew with some herbed biscuits. So I figured that sounded great for a nice Sunday dinner. I just got mine, it's awesome. Who'd you get it from? It Was it uh, OXO? I love theirs. Because they have the teeth on the end that help to like get the pieces out a little bit easier. So handy. Because trying to clean a garlic press that doesn't have that, it's a mess. Huge mess. Move some stuff over here. And we get to the mincing, which can be a little messy. We don't need to go super small on this because this is going to cook for about an hour. So this garlic's going to work itself down. I just want to get some small pieces. You see how the tip of her knife was not leaving the board? This is called the rocking method. It helps prevent you cutting your hands or fingers. Very good point, Amma. Thank you for calling that out. Yes. So, you can do this with practically any kind of a chef's knife. I like the Santoku knives, which is... Let me give you a quick lesson here. Chef knife, Santoku knife, really just what matters where that tip is. 
So a chef's knife, the tip will be straight in line with the spine and then it carves this way. Santoku knife it normally has the tip closer to the edge. So you don't get that same kind of curve, but I like it better, especially for these purposes, what I like to call mincing. So with a regular chef's knife, if you get all the way to the tip, sometimes your knife is way up here and I don't like that loss of control. So I like Santoku knives because the knife to get to the tip doesn't have to go that high. Great tip, Ama. By the way, if you guys have other tips and tricks, let me know in chat. Thank you, Serena. Ah, the problem with garlic, it makes your hands sticky. Oh, but they smell so good. Oh. More wine. Oh, the update on the crash. Oh my God. So is it like confirmed, confirmed? Cause it's really hard to find out like what's truth on the internet. Like unless it comes from CNN itself. I mean, sadly we had people thinking Elvis was still alive even before the internet became a thing. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, I don't trust TMZ though. All right, that's not too bad. That will get us started. All right, we still need our knife, so I'm gonna clean this off real quick. Cause we need to cut up our chicken. Nope. I'm gonna grab a couple of bowls for this. I think probably we're identifying the bodies because I've seen where it was his wife and then later his daughter. Mm. Oh, that's such a shame. Yeah, I would probably wait until it's confirmed by the medical examiner too. I'm a bit raised higher than what's recommended. What is wrong with you, YouTube? I don't understand. Okay, let me grab some bowls here real quick. Oh my God, this kitchen quickly turned into a giant mess. We're gonna keep our chives, which are the green parts of the green onion, to one side, because we're gonna throw these in at the end, or close to the end. Yeah, that is horrible. I wonder what happened to the plane. No, oh, you said it was a helicopter. That's right, it was a helicopter. All right, so we have our, you know what? I'm gonna move my honing blade, because we don't need that anymore. garlic and our green onions. Shove that in a bowl. Hey, 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 green onions, calm down. Well, if it is true, all I can hope is that it was quick and pain, as painless as possible. Clean up the rest. little pieces decide they want to run away from me. Thankfully I cleaned this kitchen before the stream. <laughs> what you been up to, Ryan? I've been um, in the process of catching up on your videos. I know, it is like Paul Walker over again. That's a shame. Alright, stack these bowls up here so we'll get some space. Okay. Now for the chicken. Good rule of thumb, if you're cooking or you're cutting up meat, either have a completely separate board for it or make it the last thing that you cut up. And what I like to do is I like to keep the butcher paper as another layer of security because raw chicken is a breeding ground for a lot of bad stuff. Okay. So, if you have not already met the darlings of the chicken world, let me introduce you to boneless chicken thighs. I love these because 
not only do they hold up better in long cooking applications like stew, you just get so much more flavor with them. So, and generally they are cheaper than chicken breasts on a whole, which is nice. Why, kitty? What are you yelling about? So that's what we're gonna be using today for the stew because we want the chicken to hold together and we want some of that good chicken flavor to come through. So I always found it weird, like when uh, Indian restaurants use chicken breasts in their curries rather than chicken thighs because they overcook so quickly because there's no fat in them. Oh yeah, are you continuing the life of rye? That'd be awesome. been a crazy year. Got a new job at the hospital in admin. Dude, that's going to be awesome. You will forever have a job in that kind of field because they always need administration in hospitals. Relationship stuff, family stuff, but overall I'm great. Good. You know, I always, I try to not ask people like, what are your goals for 2020? Uh, because a goal without a plan is a wish. Uh, so I like to ask people, like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? One thing in your week that you're going to do to make it a better week. Me, I'm having this stream. This is one thing I've been looking forward to for a month. Finally made it happen. All right. So we're going to flip these suckers over. I'm going to get rid of this paper here so I can cut. And we're going to toss that away. There's Septicor in chat? Septicor! What's up, dude? How you been? Holy shit. Meg's cats, what's up? I can't stay to watch it, but I'll watch the VOD after work tomorrow. Aw, thanks for coming by, Meg. I appreciate that. Now we need we need a president nut. We need a uh, antagonist fury. Um What? You know I'm streaming. That's why you're crying. She has no reason to cry. She has two food bowls. Oh, you can't see that because I got all the other chicken in the way. Okay. So we're going to just cut up these into kind of large pieces because they are going to cook down a little bit. Watch your fingers. Also, I'm really sorry about not catching you on Twitch. Don't even worry about it, dude. No, trust me. It's it's very easy to lose visibility um, if it's not a platform that you're on. Um, I lost visibility to a lot of people on YouTube when I moved over to uh, Twitch that I feel bad that I've been so out of touch with so many people. It's just, if it's not the platform you're on, you kind of don't always remember to check it. So I totally understand where you're coming from. Not too much, just getting some homework done. My abstract proposal for my capstone project is due tomorrow. Congrats, dude. Is that like your final final? Are you done, gonna be done with school after that? By the way, don't do what I'm doing. And if there's a, <laughs> if there's a knife on your board, your eyes should be too. I'm saying that at myself. I'm very mad at myself because I know I'm gonna wind up cutting off a finger if I don't pay attention. You wanna hear some blasphemy? Akechi does not like dark meat chicken. You know, I, I can't blame her for it. Ooh, also be careful. Sometimes, not all the time, do they get rid of all the bone. I can feel a little bit of bone there, so we're gonna get rid of that. Um, as a kid, I hated dark meat anything. I wanted chicken breast, and that was it. Now, I've grown to love like dark meat chicken, dark meat turkey. By the way, I have an amazing hamburger recipe for you guys for next now next week this stream will actually be on saturday because it'd be the super bowl next sunday and no one's gonna be here and i don't blame them because i wouldn't be either so next saturday we're gonna be making the juiciest turkey burgers you have ever had with german potato salad so a great recipe for you guys to take to your Super Bowl parties. This should be my final semester. If my proposal is accepted, my project goes well, it could become a universally published article. Damn, dude, congrats. Thank you, Andrew. 
gotta go now, but have the most amazing live stream cooking debut. Thank you so much, Ryan! When's your next video coming out? By the way, if you guys have not checked out Ryan's videos, they are so wonderful. It's just, it's like sitting down with a friend. He's so sweet. Well, I don't watch the Super Bowl. I don't either. I generally only watch the commercials and uh, the halftime show, which I think they're actually getting Beyonce for this one, if I'm correct. Who you got for the Super Bowl? I don't even know who's playing. That's how much of a girly girl I am. Yeah, same, Mama. I don't know who's in it. You guys are gonna have to tell me. I only learned last year because I had to come up with recipes for them. Oh, Shakira and JLo. Okay. So it looks like the NFL and Fox have finally gotten over their Janet Jackson hysteria that they're going to put JLo and Shakira on the stage. Chiefs versus 40, 49ers made it to the Super Bowl? Wow. I don't know. Between those two, I kind of I kind of think the Chiefs are going to take it. What do you guys think? I say this like I have anything to back that up. I don't. I just, I used to live in San Francisco, no, near San Francisco. And uh, 49ers do not always have the best track record. That may have improved. That's true. All the commercials are online anyways. And they tend to have better production value than the Super Bowl. Like, isn't that sad when you get to some Super Bowls and they're the most boring things ever? That you're like, oh, just call me when the commercial's on. Demi Lovato singing the national anthem. That could be good. I don't know who in the audience from Kansas City is going to know who she is, but, you know. I'll send you all the stats to make it more informed. Septicor! I got a bone to pick with you, sir. Thanks to you, I actually liked watching football. You need to bring back your football videos. They were not only funny, but informative. And I miss them. A lot. I also miss your face, so... Excited for after the Super Bowl. It's the S3 premiere of Masked Singer. Ooh, I have not been keeping up on that. But did I run out of music? Hold on. I did! Ha <laughs> ha! I don't mind. Netball, basketball, hockey, football, tennis, to name a few. <laughs> Netball. I love it. God damn it, they did not get rid of all the bones. Come on, you're normally better than this. Alright, we're just gonna get rid of all this down here, because I don't trust it now. There we go. Once I get the schooling done and get a job, I'll get back into it. Maybe even consistent streaming. Yay! Oh, I'm so happy. Now if we can just get Antagonist Fury to come back too, that'd be awesome. Do you miss my face? Of course I miss your face. I miss all your faces. That's why I'm so happy y'all are back. You know, we tried Twitch. It was a valiant effort. But, and trust me, YouTube is, is no spring chicken either. But uh, Twitch has some issues. <laughs> All right. Okay, our chicken is all nice and cut up. Let's clean some pans and some knives. Oh, I'm sure President Nut's gonna be back. Let me clean this knife first before I clean. There we go. Always smart, whenever you get done, Dealing with raw chicken, clean everything. You do not want to get people sick. Counting ceiling tiles in your bathroom is not fun. Well, thankfully, that's the last time we need this knife. So, we can set her off to the side. Clean these chicken -y hands. Why am I looking at the light like it's a camera? What is wrong with me today? I swear, I even got 
got some decent sleep. I tried with Twitch and Arcade Tavern, but it just didn't work out. At least we were able to support it for a time. Yeah, and like I said, everyone has their favorite platform. We will be co-streaming uh, to Mixer. I want to do a couple streams to YouTube first, just kind of <laughs> work out the kinks. So that when I'm spending 40 minutes to fix a stream, it's only on one platform and not multiple. Uh, so it will be options for people like if you like watching on Facebook, if you like watching on Mixer. I can't co-stream to Twitch because I accepted their affiliate program and their affiliate program means you cannot multi-stream. So, a little bit of a dick move because no one else requires that. Praying to the porcelain gods is something you don't want to do on a Friday night or Saturday or Sunday or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Really, it's just no good time for that. No one suggests a it's community. Got the mayor of my hometown that I'll be able to swim in a fabric mermaid tail. I'm kind of with Ama on that. Um, I think it would probably be better and safer if we move our chicken over to do in an area with lesser people. All right. Here's hoping that this works. So in an effort to not have to constantly look back at my stove, I went and I got a portable induction burner. Which if you've never heard of one of those, pretty interesting technology. I'm gonna have to move this over it because uh, what it is, it is a burner that requires metal pans in order to basically send the energy and heat through. If you don't have a metal pan, it's like cool to the touch, supposedly. I'm not gonna test that, but that's what I've been told. Um, long story short, it allows me to cook right here. So I'm gonna lay down some heat burners, keep the marble nice and free of everything. Yes, uh, we will be on Mixer as well. Uh, it's actually called Mocktails Consoles because they Mixer didn't seem to like the word cocktails. So fine, it's Mocktails and Consoles. Oh, that's true, they don't clean the water every day. Yeah, that's a good point. Hold on, I'm gonna go. one of the most universal useful pans ever. It's called a brazier, and the reason for that is because it has a very short lid, which means the goal of this is to keep circulating moisture back over onto whatever you're cooking. However, if you have the lid off, it's basically just a frying pan. And the nice thing about this is this is cast iron meets the easier cleanup of nonstick because this is porcelain. So that should hold up pretty well. It should keep heat pretty well and saves you from having to buy a whole bunch of different pans. Now, if this is something that you like to add to your um, kitchen reservoir, the link is down below. It's just an Amazon affiliate link. It's where I got it. Um, it doesn't affect you in price in any way. It's just if you use the link to buy it, then they throw a few shekels at the channel, which will go towards getting a new mic. But I'm very, very passionate about always disclosing whenever something is sponsored, probably nothing will ever be because I'm never gonna make it that big, but in case someone decides to sponsor us, you will know off the bat, this video was sponsored, these are the restrictions in the sponsorship, and it better be something that I love because I would not push horrible products on you. Mixer has a strict dress code. Their enforcement is another matter. All right, let me see if I can boost this up. 
Let me wait till that catches up. Come on, you two. Yes, enamel cast iron is amazing. Ah, oh, hold on. Let me switch to my other view. Da, 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 da. Okay. So if I were to boost this up, then we could see it. Do I have anything to boost that? Is that going to work? That may not work. Damn it. Sorry, guys. Unfortunately, this view is just going to be a little bit boring. There we go. Okay, let me switch back over here so I can read chat. We have a big enamel Dutch oven I use for just about everything. Exactly. It's it's so useful. It's a saute pan. It's a, it's an everything pan. We're going to be making the turkey burgers in this next week. Okay. So now I get to figure out how the heck to turn the sucker on. On. Yay. Let's put her up to... Let's start her at 280. Let me go get some butter. saucepan we're gonna mix equal parts chicken broth and white wine so if you get yours in a box like I do give it a good shake oh don't septicore don't even worry about donating just being here is awesome there we go oh yeah channel is very much not for kids I drink here yeah it's gonna be interesting to see how that whole kappa thing turns out I haven't heard a peep, and it's January. All right, so we're gonna pour in. Easy there. Let's not spill. Stop, 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 stop. Why are you gurgling at me? Come on. This is the annoying thing about getting chicken broth in a box. Easy there. Why am I holding this up here? You guys know what I'm doing. Pouring chicken broth into uh, oh, a pan. Melissa, what's wrong with you? That's 280. Let's see how this is doing. I don't trust a pan that's just gone. Plus, I'm hearing weird clicking noises. That's not good. Okay, what is your day job? I do data analytics. Woo, that's hot. Let's turn that down. Let's turn that way down. Wow. Easy there. Calm down. You're okay. Okay, so we're learning pretty fast. This thing gets hot. That's true. I'm not going to be giving out more personal information than that. All right. Now... About that I lost sight of uh, chat there for a little bit all right let me just test the heat out on this a little bit make sure we've calmed this down a bit controls on this is pretty nice if you guys are interested in an induction burner um, I will send you guys the link to this but only after we test drive it here <laughs> I don't want you guys getting stuck with a bad yeah, that browns like insanely fast. 
There we go. Okay, we're good. Is your new home far from your parents? No, it's about like 15 minutes away. So I can still get over there and, you know, have dinner with them. Get up, 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 get out. Seriously wanted to make chicken stew instead of roasted chicken. <laughs> Grab our handy dandy salt and pepper. Crack some in here. I don't like this salt grinder. It's, the pieces are too big. Oh, it's an electrical field caused the pan to heat up because the pan is causing resistance to the field. That is cool. I never knew how these things worked. Thank you, Bill. By the way, Bill, you and Ama, at one of these days, you guys need to do some cooking bits. There we go. Now I can catch up. We'll chat a little bit. Yeah, I saw he raised quite a bit of money. That is awesome. All right. This is a little low. Let's turn up to 20. Maybe one more. 220, yeah. Okay. While that is heating back up, Let's grab our white wine. <laughs> we gotta get this going. Is that a guy on the floor? Who are you talking to? Yes, it's my current boyfriend. I keep him on the floor of my kitchen. All right. More or less equal parts. Save some for the chef. I know you've been here. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. Hopefully you guys aren't getting inundated with ads. I thought I had suppressed a lot of them, but if you guys are getting them, let me know because I don't, I especially don't want ads that you can't skip through because it's bullshit. Oh God, it's smelling really good. Wait, you don't keep a man on your kitchen floor? Where have you guys been? How do you think this kitchen stays clean? Guarantee you it ain't me. Ad blocker also works. Honestly, from what I've been hearing, like a lot of people who are making it big on YouTube, it's not because of the ads. Like everyone has to go the affiliate market route. And the merch route, I never understood that because um, there's only so many shirts you can own. So like the Jake Pauls of the world are like, buy my merch, buy my merch. First of all, unless you're like raising the markup to over 100%, you're making about what, two to five dollars on a shirt? Granted, he has a huge fan base which will buy anything he says. Probably just to get him to shut up about it in a video. Um, but still, like there are other avenues to money that doesn't require you to annoy your viewers as much. I'm taking that keep a woman on the floor. That also works. <laughs> she may be a bottom, you never know. Okay. We have our butter, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Alright. Let me get back to actually being proper and teaching you guys about this. I really should have cooked the chicken first. Wow. Okay, so when you guys do this at home, brown the chicken first, then do this. We're gonna cook this, take this out, put the chicken in, and then put everything else in there. It still works, it's just more steps. I'm gonna take this down one more smidge. Old may never know. <laughs> Does everyone have someone that cleans, that lives in the kitchen? I'm hunting for one. All right, this is looking pretty good. You know what? I'm gonna risk this. I'm gonna push this to the outside and we're just gonna put the chicken in. So if you want to be proper, take the garlic and the onion out and then add your chicken. But we're just kind of slopping our way through this. All right. Oh, you know what? 
want some color on this chicken. So it sounds like I need a little bit more fat in this pan because we're not hearing anything. Have you ever been into hunting and or fishing? I'm big into the results of those, namely eating them. Uh, never been a big fan of fishing because I'm a girly girl. I don't like to get messy. Um, hunting? I mean, this sounds like fun until you realize that you're killing a live animal. And I know I'm cooking what was a live animal, so I get there's hypocrisy. But there's a difference between cooking chicken and looking one in the eye before you put a bullet in it. And I'm not preaching on anyone. You gotta do you. It's just personal preference. I can never bring myself to do it. If I had to hunt what I eat, I'd probably be a vegetarian. Where did you get your pan? Uh, the link is down below in the description. I got it off of Amazon. It's made by Crock-Pot, so it's really nice. Um, it's my first time with this pan, so I don't know like how long it takes before the enamel starts to chip. Um, but I'm guessing as long as you don't crank up the heat super high, you shouldn't be at risk of that. It is an affiliate link, uh, and all that means is if you happen to buy it through there, uh, it doesn't affect your price at all. It just throws like a couple pennies to the channel. All right, yeah, that needs some oil. So, I freaking love this stuff a lot. Uh, let's talk about avocado oil for a minute. I will catch up with Chad, I promise. Um, Remember in the 80s and 90s when everyone got on a huge kick of cooking with olive oil? Not exactly the best thing you can do. The reason for that is that olive oil has a very low smoke point, which basically means at what temperature the oil itself will start to break down. Now, oh, I did this in another video. I'll find it again. I had like the graph chart of oils and when they start to break down. Olive oil's down here lard is way up here avocado oil is about in here and that's in spray version so i like that because it has a higher smoke point you gonna let this just cook for a minute uh than olive oil and price wise kind of about the same is anything about my like my lodge enamel cast iron it'll be years before the enamel wears down exactly lodge oh my god for cast iron so good and nice and cheap too but the problem is you can't clean them. This is why I love these pans because it's basically cast iron, but you can clean them. <laughs> oh, of course I'd do it if I was gonna starve to death. I'd eat a volleyball if I thought I was gonna starve to death. Ooh, I shouldn't touch my hair. Good, there we go. People hunt chickens, crazy people do. I go hunting and it's fun. Nice, what do you use? Do you use rifle, do you use a uh, bow? It's a nice kitchen. Thank you. I, the dark paint, I actually did myself. It's a mess up in the corners. I'm gonna have someone fix this. Actually, I'd love to get your guys' opinion before I call the painters. So, we're having a couple different thoughts on this. So do you see these cabinets right here where it has like the nice glass paint? So there's two theories of thought. Either we keep this like the black and white and we just fix the paint or we keep these window cabinets white and make the rest of the cabinets that, that same kind of black. What do you guys think? Let me know in chat. Everything is local around my town. Awesome. Oh, yes, that smells good. 
You ever hear of the Crock-Pot Dump Meals? Five ingredients or less cooked by Kathy Mitchell. No, but that sounds awesome. Crock-Pot is a great thing to have in your kitchen. All right, let's take a look at our... Okay, let's do anything. Stay nice and warm. Black and white is nice. Okay, cool. That's kind of where I'm leaning to, but I really wanted to get other people's opinions before I spend a lot of money on painters to fix this. <laughs> Smelling good. Okay, let's take a look at the bottoms of these. All right, these a little bit longer. Really, we're not looking to cook the chicken all the way through. I'm gonna crank this up a smidge. I just wanna get some color on this chicken on one side because that color is gonna turn into flavor. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Can you hear that snip, snap, crackle, crackle? I love black and white checkerboard design. Awesome! So this kitchen is a dream. Yay! I would fly there and help paint. Oh my god, you would be the best. Oh, this is gonna be great. Hi! <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm digging the chessboard monochrome thing. Yay! Okay, cool. Then we're keeping this and we're just gonna have them fix it. Because the viewers have spoken. Yeah, I agree. The black counters on top is kind of weird. So if you can see behind me, I painted one of these black because I couldn't get it to detach. And yeah. All right, I'm seeing some brown. Let's take a look. There we go. All right, so we're gonna dial this down a smidgen. Oh, get up here. Okay, so there is something I'm noticing about this induction burner. Uh, the heat is really good, but only when you're directly on top of that center. Now, it doesn't have to be a bad thing, because much like cooking with a wok, it does offer you some advantages. Meaning, like what we just did, we had to move uh, the garlic and the onion out to the outside, well, because the heat's not coming all the way there, they're not gonna overcook. But if you're looking to get brown on a lot of meat in a lot of range, this may not be your best bet. So, I will keep you guys up to date. Like I said, I didn't wanna link this induction burner until we had really had a chance to, you know, kick the tires on it. You like the kitchen how it is? Okay, cool. I would probably change it all the white. Those top counters, the bottom counters look cool as they are. Oh, what you're seeing here, this isn't the, um, that's not the uh, cabinet. This is just the outside of the cabinet that's black. This, I can't change. That's marble. Okay. Let's turn this up a little bit more. Now we gotta add in, holy Moses, all of this. We're just gonna dump it all in together. Wow, this is gonna fill right to the top. Okay, so there's not gonna be a lot of liquid because we filled this sucker. So, <laughs> that's fine. Cause actually in a stew, I, actually, I do like having more meat and veggies than anything else. Well, the mainframe on top, instead of black, make it white. We could, but then all of that becomes white, and then it's just white on white wall. We could do another color. I just have not been able to think of what that should be. Okay, we may actually have to finish this over there because this is not going to be enough. But that's fine because now I can actually prep the biscuits and you guys can see that process. Before we get into that, there is one other step we have to do. Um, let me grab a little bit more of our oil. Give her a shake. Might need, yeah, might need a Dutch oven for this. We're gonna give this a spray of oil. It's not for the vegetables, it's 
actually going to be for the flour. I would go beige, except um, the actual wall paint is on the gray scale. There we go. So we're just going to tap in some flour. The flour is going to mix with the oil and help keep this thing from getting lumpy. So let me get this all in here. We don't need a lot, just a little bit to cover the veggies. There we go. Move this over to our ever amassing pile of stuff to clean. There's a fair amount of black going on, that's true. Okay, now let's carefully stir this. So we're gonna give this a minute or two until we really can't see much flour anymore. Get in there. And then once we can't see much flour anymore, that's when we start incorporating the liquids. looking pretty good. Wow. Yeah, they weren't kidding. This induction burn is actually very cold to the touch. Gray or silver. We could do gray or silver. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. I think you hold it down. How's the size? cool to the touch. We're going to move her over. There we go. Crank this up. Oh, low. We're going to let this cool down. Clean this up a little bit. Oh, no worries, Septicor. Thanks for hanging out, dude. Okay, I got a lot of stuff here. Um, butter, we're still gonna need you. This we're not gonna need. This we're not gonna need. So let's start, like my mother would say, start cleaning up. This is gonna make your life a lot easier. If you tell her that she's right, I'm going to have issues with you. Okay. over. We're going to give that a minute, but I'm going to unplug her and move her. She's already actually pretty cool to the touch. I don't recommend this. Okay, she, she's still a little warm. It even tells me not to touch, but you know me. Okay, the sides are cool. We're going to move her over. does know best, that's true. We're gonna move these over. Take a look. Yeah, that's good. Sorry for the butt cam. All right. Now we just start adding liquid to this until, start slowly, 
Once you pour in about a cup, mix it up until it's nice and incorporated, and then just keep adding more until you get just the amount of liquid that you need, and then we're gonna put her on simmer and let her go. What's with the ear pod mouth? This is so I can hear the music, but you guys don't get reverb. Wow, that actually mixed up pretty quick. Okay, we can start adding more. are nice and covered. These are still going to shrink down a little bit so we don't need to go super high. I just want to make sure that we can at least get everything underneath the water so all of it will cook. There we go. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to turn off this guy and we're going to let it go. You see that Tuscan shrimp recipe I posted to Discord? I absolutely did, and that looked amazing. Smell looking fantastic as always. Thank you. Your kitchen is beautiful. I don't think I said that yet. Thank you, Asher. What is your dream car? Uh, one that I don't have to change oil in. Why does this have a bunch of... That's weird. Super duper clean this later. Okay. Oh, almost forgot. Haha. <laughs> Our peas. Open her up. And stick her in. Don't worry, like I said at the beginning, all the veggies are completely up to you. You can. You're not going to hurt my feelings if you take out the peas. I just really, really love fresh peas when they're not cooked to death. All right. That is pretty good. Um, let me do a little bit of clean here just before we get to our next item up for grabs. That's true. I mean, I, I've i honestly been keeping my eye on Mixer, um, and I gave some thought to just moving all the streaming over to Mixer, but the problem is, you know, it's like I was talking about earlier, people don't like changing platforms, and that's not, there's no way to say that without it sounding kind of bad, but is there something wrong with it? Every viewer has the option of wherever they like to watch content. Um, but if you put content on one platform and then ask them to jump to another platform to watch you stream, not a lot of people are gonna wanna do that because, well, now I gotta learn how Mixer works and I gotta learn how to do everything that I do over on YouTube, over, not me, I mean the viewer. I gotta learn how to do everything over there. Um, I don't like it. So it makes sense that they don't like it. And if you want to build viewers for YouTube content, you got to stream on YouTube. It's just really what it comes down to. Desi, welcome. How are you doing? To 
tip with opening bags like that, make sure the blade is pointed away from you. Exactly. Is Mama distracted? Yay! How you doing, Desi? Let me figure out how to change my name on here. Good luck with that. Oh my gosh. Changing your name on YouTube is tough. Alright, let me get this into the stir. Oh, it's looking Now, if you're wondering why I'm not salt and peppering this, is because these flavors are going to concentrate to a degree. Um, so that means if you salt and pepper now, you're going to be over salted and over peppered later. So we're going to let that go with the salt that's already in there, and then we're going to taste test it near the end when we put in the uh, chives to see if we need to adjust seasoning at that point. Meanwhile, that's going to take a little bit so I can... I can sit here and talk to you guys <laughs> and catch up on chat. Ah, see? Desi, ah, ah okay, now I gotta separate that. Dens, dens, there's an N in there. I Take me a while to see it. Why are you not salting? That is exactly why I'm not salting. I think you've got a, a sixth sense for that. In the meantime, we're gonna refill this glass. Holy Moses. drinking if you are underage grab yourself some sparkling apple cider and cheers to you thank you guys for being here we're not done we're not done i just want to stop and thank you guys for being here because this has been a little bit of a technological nightmare but now that we started to get a lot of these issues i just picked up a pee with my toe how skilled is that what was that sound Cat, what are you doing? Stop moving chairs. I don't understand. I'm gonna change my name on YouTube, my real name, but got stuff so mixed up. Yeah, it's, YouTube is still mixed up with Google Plus somehow. It's, it's so weird. Too early for alcohol, water works. That works. Mmm. Sparkling apple cider is good. Especially, you want an easy way to make it yourself? Take apple juice and sparkling water, bing, bang, boom, sparkling apple cider. <laughs> the guy on the floor. You got a job to do! Pick up the pee. He's so fired. We are now accepting applicants for new guy on the floor. Please send them a chat down below. <laughs> oh my God, that's gonna be a thing now. All right, you guys keep me honest. Every Sunday stream, guy on the floor is gonna have a new name and a new background and a new job. So if you wanna to move to Mixer, no, 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 we're not moving to Mixer. We're staying on YouTube. We're just gonna be co-streaming to Mixer. Oh, I wish you guys could see this. Hold on, let me drag that camera over and you guys can see. Wow, that must have been up close and personal. Oh, you can't quite see. I hope you can see. It's looking lovely. It really is. <laughs> Get a puppy kitchen floor would be spotless. <laughs> I'm waiting for Sadie to join all the other discontinued Google services. It's coming. I'm still following your old Twitch. Oh, you can, we're done there. I, unless there's a way I can turn off affiliate, I can't uh, dual stream to there, which is such a shame because actual like cooking stuff on Twitch does really, really well. Looks like earth when it's wet outside. <laughs> All right, so let me keep that going. Now, this is gonna take at least another 45 minutes to cook. The biscuits are only gonna take about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna leave it up to you. Let me know in chat. Um, we can do this a couple different ways. I can either do the biscuits now so you guys can see how they're done 
and then we can wrap things up at that point or just like hang out and chat. Or if you guys want to see to when this gets done, we can do the biscuits now, hang out and chat for a bit until those are done and then do the final plating. So let me know what you guys prefer in chat. Ooh, summer's be apple cider. That sounds good. Nezzy, how are the kiddos? Also, we need a name for man on the floor. What should we give him? I'm kind of thinking Jack, but I'd rather you guys tell me. Well, if I can still have my Twitch Prime subscription once a month, I can switch it from Arcade Taverns to your Twitch. You'll still get the money. Yes. Um, the money will still come through. I like waiting till the final plating. Okay. Oh yeah, we're definitely doing biscuits, but it's a question of do you want to cut the stream after the biscuits or wait until that's done? Oh, his name is Biscuit. Biscuit, you're fired. Biscuit's fired. Kiddos are napping, but good, not sick at the moment. Awesome. Ooh, Earl's a good name too. I'm with Brian or maybe Mark. Those are good too. We're gonna name a biscuit for this one and then we're gonna come back to those. So we will let you guys name man on the floor next stream. <laughs> okay, well, we'll have a minute. I should probably clean a little bit. Uh, biscuit, why? <laughs> Bill wants to finish the plating. Okay, great. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm down to hang out with you guys until the cows come home. I just want to make sure that this stays entertaining for you guys. That's my biggest concern. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Why did you time out movie? <laughs> Do you have a new cat? No, still the same too. <laughs> I thought that was probably the case. Finish the plating. More time with Mel. Okay, cool. Man on the floor. Do I need an adult? You guys, okay. I cannot take credit for that. That was all you guys coming up with it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I remember poor Desi had such problems with that happening. I think it was on Twitch. Like the kids would grab the phone away from her and then just start like banning people. Mm. Man on the floor. So we now have a concept. Our first meme that um, there was a little pee on the floor that somehow I who knew some who knew that my toes had skill. I don't know. You can't even. Think. Um, I managed to pick him up with my toes, and they're like, "Don't you have a man on the floor to clean that for you?" I'm like, "No, I don't have a man on the floor." And then now we have man on the floor. This is the thing now. That was my son. <laughs> she banned me once. No way. Oh my God, that was funny. Finish it. Okay, we will finish the plating. Holy shit. Um, calm down there, Stu. Yes, that guy's name is Biscuit. That guy's name is Stu. Mercy, man on the floor in quick flash tomorrow. No, tomorrow we're doing Death Road to Canada. Okay, so now we have a nice clean surface. Let's get to the biscuit, shall we? I think timeouts have a time and you can't undo it. I think you're right. All right, now y'all have to promise that you're not gonna hate me for this. This may seem lazy, but there's a reason, there's a method to my badness. And hear me out. Yeah, these 
these biscuits aren't made from scratch. They have to come from, well, two slash three ingredients. Now you purists out there are going, why? Here's my rationale. In today's day and age, I feel like I should be holding my glass of wine when I say this. Okay. In today's day and age, people are working longer. There are more single parents than there's ever been before. It is very, very hard to cook something from scratch every night. So my philosophy on this is make one dish from love, meaning from scratch, and feel free to phone it in a little bit on everything else that goes with it. We made this stew. We made stew from scratch. When it comes to biscuits, there is absolutely nothing like homemade. And I will say that until the cows come home. The cows of which I am not milking because I don't have that kind of time. I'm going to go with Hillsbury because if I can't make it myself, he does an okay job. But we're going to twist them up a little bit. So we're going to take our biscuits in a can and dress them up a little bit. And the way we do that is with a little bit of melted butter and a little bit of Italian seasoning. So we're going to melt our butter, mix it with the Italian seasoning, add some salt and pepper, and we're going to brush that on top of the biscuits before we put them in the oven. That way, when they come out, they're fragrant, they're herby, they're salt and peppery. They're so much better than what you just get out of a can. So if we've already got the stew done from scratch, we're going to phone in the biscuits a little bit. End of rant. <laughs> Will you post this recipe in Discord now? Yes. Um, oh, the thumbnail doesn't show anymore, does it? Because we're now live. Damn it. Uh, yes. So the ingredients will always be on the thumbnail, and I will post that uh, 24 hours before. I'm going to try for 24 hours before. So that way, if you want to cook with me, then you know like all the ingredients that you need, and we can cook together. But uh, I think actually the ingredients are down in the description as well, but I will also post it to Discord. And resub to your Twitch. Thank you. Oh, poor movie. <laughs> That's how I make my biscuits majority of the time. And there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, biscuits are, okay. If I say they're tough to make from scratch, I'm gonna get it from the people who do take the time to make it. It's, they're not hard, they are time intensive. These things are time intensive to make. So if you can get them already made, and you can dress them up a little bit. Bing, bang, boom. Okay, now we have to check to see how long we have to cook these for. 325. sheet and what no chef should ever be without parchment paper this stuff is so useful I can't even begin to tell you it's basically paper silicone drop biscuits are quick and easy like me ha <laughs> ha no, it's okay, movie. It's kind of a running gag. Unfortunately, our mods have a... Have a hard time modding on phones sometimes. There we go. See, YouTube needs a goddamn clip maker. So we've got flaky layered biscuits that's going to require the lamination process. I think that's correct. That's definitely the that's definitely true in terms of puff pastry. 
Puff pastry, you absolutely have to laminate the dough. Um, for flaky layers, I think the way you get those, and I'm gonna keep me honest here, is you need a quick melting fat and a not quick melting fat. And the difference between those two is what causes the layers. <laughs> Thank you, Mom, or Emmy. The other time I get a package of biscuit cheese. Ooh, that sounds good, Will. And thank you so much, Andrew. Okay, now y'all are gonna think I'm a huge wimp and you're pretty much right. Is anyone else terrified by the sound when you open up a thing of Pillsbury in a can? Because it's, I drink a lot of coffee. I'm easily startled. I scare my coworkers when they sneak up on me and I'm not aware. And they tap me on the shoulder and I jump. Okay, that's doing good. Oh, here we go. I hate this part so much. Where's the line? There it is. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Woo! Not that bad. I just be a man. Asher, can you come open these for me? All right. We're gonna take our little pillows of love and stick them on our silicone sheet. It's Monday where Serena is. Hashtag suck it Monday, which is coming back tomorrow. And of course we are kicking off with some death road to Canada. So if you haven't yet, you want to hit that subscribe button that would be awesome oh we don't have sponsors yet on the channel all right i gotta find out where that join button is damn it i will i will get on that yay biscuits i didn't have to make you don't laminate biscuits you cut the butter and lard in one melts quicker than the other oh i was right okay cool Yay! I was hoping I got that right. So happy. I still get scared, honestly, but I just do it because I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, good, I'm not alone. Oh, that makes me so happy. All right, I'm gonna clean out a bowl here. Yes, carbs! <laughs> When your cats to fall, like the one time when you were making a cocktail and it scared your cat. That was funny as hell. They stopped being skittish of the house, and that's a good thing. All right. That's cleaner now. We can dry her off. I don't know why I started associating gender to my dishes. I guess I've just become French. Um... Okay. You need a manly woman. Someone like me. Not afraid to kill the spiders. <gasps> kill spiders. Will you please move in? You can bring a cat sheet. That's fine. I, I just, I need spider killer. I don't need spider man. I need spider killer. Oh my God. There was a giant ass spider like right outside my door. I'm going, what the hell is like, this is a harbinger of doom. Why are you here? Thankfully, my electrician took pity on me and killed it. I don't know how I function in this world. <laughs> Not afraid to throw men out the window. <laughs> Ooh, smoothie sounds good. I'm bad. I will make sausage gravy from scratch, but will be lazy and use canned biscuits. Bill, I, oh my God, you and I are so alike. So last night, I went over to my parents' house and I made them uh, chicken fried steak. And I made the sausage gravy from scratch and it was crazy good. Crazy easy too. I will share the recipe with you guys. Actually, we're just gonna make it on the channel. Um, but I, yeah, you can see it right here. I did not make these biscuits from scratch, but I will make sawmill gravy from scratch and it is incredible. It's so good. <laughs> 
tell that you have good food. <laughs> That's true. Australians have like horse sized spiders. That's why I can never live there. Okay, not doing good. All right, so let's cut ourselves a good whack of butter here. I'll be there. That much is good. Whee! Thank you for playing butter. Let's give a hand for butter. Woo! All right, now we're gonna pop this in the microwave. Okay, while that is going, we're gonna drink more wine. Oh no, I couldn't survive in Australia at all. You are 100% correct. <laughs> Just make a roux using sausage cheese. Gotta be careful with how much flour you use. I learned that firsthand. That's true. Sometimes if you have too much grease, you have like this layer of film on top of your, I, I have that happen way too often. As seen on TV food products, we could do that. That would actually be a really fun, okay. Remind me. Um, are you still on Twitter? If so, tag me on Twitter or on Discord, so I remember. We should totally do a video like that. All right, Butter, how are we doing? We are good, okay. Where's my salt pepper? Salt pepper. I would honestly see all the giant spiders and want to domesticate them. Australia ever learns how to militarize their spiders? Yeah, they, they would rule. We would all be properties of Australia if they could weaponize their spiders. I, I could, I, I couldn't, I, I, wow. I can't even finish a sentence just thinking about that. That is terrifying. Oh my God. You could ride them like horseback. All right, we're gonna throw in some salt, some pepper, and a whole crap load. Italian seasoning. Why? Because I'm too lazy to cut up herbs. Don't judge me, people. Oh, God, even that's smelling good. All right. Let me clean this off because I don't have a pastry brush yet. It's been an expensive month, folks. Okay. You could throw in the snakes too. You probably could. I would cry. Possibly snap my own neck. I, I would do the work for the snake. There we go. Nice and clean. How much Italian are you? Oh, we gotta do the math. Okay. So my grandmother came from Italy and my mother's side has about 30% Italian. So I think when I crunched the numbers, I was about 34. Why am I looking up here? I was about 34% Italian. Unfortunately, we don't know if my grandmother was from Northern Italy or Southern Italy. Um, I think my aunt did the uh, 23 and Me, and they couldn't really pinpoint it. So she was from Italy. We're not quite sure where. Ooh, that's looking good. Um, but it has always been my goal to go back to Italy. And of course I'm gonna film it. Um, and I wanna find some elderly Italian grandmothers and I want to beg them to teach me how to make proper pasta from scratch. I mean, I, I know how to make pasta from scratch, but I wanna know how they make it, you know? Ancestry DNA, probably could. The funny thing is, like, my grandmother was pretty dark-skinned, so we think she's from um, the southern part of Italy, like around Sicily, but we're not 100% certain because my dad's not really dark-skinned, I'm not really dark-skinned. I mean, we tan easily because we're Italian, but... And it's hard to tell from her recipes because... She never really cooked anything kind of indicative of that region. Like Northern Italian uh, cuisine definitely differs from Southern Italian cuisine. 
If you guys are interested in that, I could do a whole video on that. All right, so we have my wine in the shot. What's wrong with me? <laughs> we have a nice blend of butter, herbs. I just had to put the money shot in here. Butter, herbs, salt and pepper. And we're just going to brush that over our biscuits. Rather than using a brush, just hold the sides of the biscuits and put the top in the butter. That's not a bad idea. Um, these are a little flimsy because they've been sitting out for a bit, so they're not gonna hold up. But I'm just gonna pour them on top and then just brush it down. There we go. You're mostly from England. I mean, most people are going to be since I mean, that was a, really a ruse. There we go. So now we have our herb biscuits. All the herby, buttery goodiness right on top. By the way, can I just say how fun it is just to sit here in my kitchen and talk to you guys while I cook? It's so fun. Major expansion. Domino's is gonna try to compete in Italy? That's interesting. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, what we know as pizza is definitely different from how Italy knows as pizza. But, shit, I mean, there's no competing with Italian pizza. My ancestry is mostly Devonshire and Scottish. I can see a lot of Scottish in you, Ruby. That sounds like it's a bad thing. No, it's a great thing. I love Scotsmen. They are awesome. I can't understand a good third of what they say, but they are fabulous. Aries, what's up, dude? How are you doing? All right, we're gonna get like all the herbs on these damn biscuits. I really hope you guys are enjoying this stream because I'm having a ball. That sounds like blackmail. I hope you guys honestly are enjoying the stream. If you're not, please let me know if there's ways that we can you know, change it up, make it better. I am up for anything because it's just so fun standing in my kitchen and, and talking to you guys. It's a beard, isn't it? Um, it's more than the beard. It's, it is a beard and uh, the brows, the set of the jaw. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised you're not like 100% Scottish. I love this stream. Yay! Oh, thank you guys. Like I said, I mean, honestly, if there's anything we can do to improve, please let me know because you guys will be doing me a favor. Because I want to keep making the stream like better and better. This may look like a lot of herbs that we're putting on top, but remember, this is only setting on top. Um, since it's not permeating all the way through, we need a good bite of herb on the top because we're not gonna have any herbs in the middle. There we go. German, English, Irish, and New Zealand, but born in Australia. That's cool. I have to look at my 23 and me to see where I am. I... I wouldn't be surprised, Essie, if you got some uh, Eastern European mixing you. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So we're gonna stick you in Mr. Singh. And before we pop these in the oven, let's check on Stu. Oh yeah, Stu's doing good. You all right? It's all right. Good. This is gonna take some time though. Now, if you find, handy tip, um, I need a good splash sign for this. Handy tip, if you find that your stew is still not as thick as you'd like it, here's how you can fix that. Take some butter, put it in a bowl, pop it in your microwave. 
get it nice and melted, and then add in equal parts to that butter flour. And you're gonna beat that together and then add that in slowly and stir it in nice and good. If you introduce the flour to the butter first, it won't get lumpy in the liquid. Good rule of thumb. You can also use cornstarch, but remember cornstarch is a bit thinner of a thickener. So it'll work, but it's not 100% stable and it's a lot of problems. So I, especially with stews, I tend to stick with flour. Okay, what are you making now? I am making a spring chicken stew with herb biscuits. Military service runs in my family. Mine too. I'm not sure if it started with my grandfather on my dad's side, um, but yeah, military and stopped with me and my sister because I'm lazy. All right, how is our oven? Our oven is good to go. These take, I think about 12 to 15 minutes, so I'm gonna go pop them in. Oh, hi, I forgot to take that out. what the hell happened to my cocktail shaker. I forgot to take it out of the damn oven. Ugh. It's back! So if you make these from home, you have to cure them in the oven, otherwise the uh, paint will run. Where's a good place to put this? kitchen is very dope. Thank you so much, Aries. I'm so glad you guys love it. Everyone's been raving about it. I'm like, oh, yay. My family moved around a lot back in the day, mostly Southern on my mom's side and Scottish and Northern on my dad's side. Ah. This is going to be so yummy. Thank you. I have Scottish, English, and French, if I remember right, also born in Australia. Awesome. Mine still has a paint, but I'm afraid when it will lose. Oh, that's right, I sent you one. Um, It will hold. I would say don't put it in a dishwasher. You may have to wash it by hand, which is annoying, I know. But I made quite a few of those. And it, I, all, of the, all the ones that I mailed out, I cured them. So if you wash it by hand, it should be fine. But let me know if the paint comes off because that would suck. All right, so we've got some. Oh, no, it's not butter. you got to clean this up. I'm going to thicken the stew a little bit because it's not quite exactly where I want it to be. This is look thick and healthy, very herby. I like it. Thank you, Aries. Uh, you may be surprised to know we just got those, we busted those out of the can. Now, from the can, they did not have the herb, so we did a little bit of an herb treatment to those. Um, but really, it's, you can do a lot with stuff from a can and just kind of put a couple easy twists on it and make it taste a hundred times better than how it tasted coming out of the can. So like never feel like you have to make everything from scratch because in a lot of cases it's very unfeasible, especially in today's day and age. All right, let me reload the music. There we go. I do wash my hand and I'm careful. Okay, cool. But yeah, let me know if it chips because I will definitely fix that. Took my 23 me. 47% British and Irish. I can see that. Mainly from Central England, Donegal, Dublin, Scotland, French, German, Scandinavian. There it is. Okay, I was gonna say, there's like something in the face that, that gives that Eastern European look. It's Scandinavian. Okay, cool. Oh God, they're gonna do a live action Bambi movie? So we have to watch a live deer get killed? I am not down for that. 
Oh, I'm really not down for that. Hold on, let me grab some butter. Talk amongst yourselves. Here we go. How did I get butter all over my refrigerator? Girl, I would bring it in person. I don't want to risk mailing it back. Oh no, just let me know. I'll send you a new one. No reference. <laughs> Which one did I do? <laughs> Ooh, that needs a. We need a fresh kitchen towel here. People are already making jokes about the death scene in Bambi's mom. I can see why. Not that anyone wants to see a deer get killed, but it's like, really, Disney? You kind of have to poke fun at it to get them to stop and think of what they're doing. I mean, watching an animated deer sucks balls. I don't want to watch a real deer die. All right, how's Stu doing? Let's check in on Stu. potatoes. So, let's bust out senior fork and do a little test here. Let's see. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, son of a bitch! Oh, yeah, PETA's gonna go insane. Well, no, they may actually like this because the scars of watching a mother deer get killed would probably keep a lot of people from wanting to kill pets, so. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Okay, it needs to be thickened. We're gonna need some salt, and we're gonna need some herbs. Potatoes are not done yet, so that's going to need a few minutes left. I just wake from my sleep and see you cooking. Oh my, I'm going to eat my breakfast like a bad man. <laughs> oh, trust me, we're going to have a whole stream dedicated to not so much breakfast, but brunch, which is just breakfast with alcohol. We're doing it. All right. I need to thicken this bad boy up, so we're going to pop in some butter. Let that cook. Where's my flower? My flower's over there. My wine is over here. Elton John was disappointed with the Lion King remake. I think a lot of people were. It was perfection the way it was. They need to stop with cash grabbing. Mm. The talk amongst yourselves. Yes, I can't do a good Jewish mom accent the way they do. Talk amongst yourselves. It, it comes out New Jersey, and that's not quite how I'm intending there. Is there any potatoes? Yes, we are using Yukon Gold potatoes because I'm talking because in the range of potatoes from red waxy potatoes to russet potatoes, Yukon Gold sit in the middle, which means they'll hold up in a stew nicely, have a really buttery flavor, and you can still make really good mashed potatoes out of them. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our Like butter. Melt the last little bit. Why do I keep putting the wine right in the, I'm sorry guys. That's my darling Steve Irwin. I don't know. I need my Pokemon curry. It's coming. Well actually the um, Persona 5 curry is coming first. To our butter, we're gonna add equal portions flour and mix her up real good. 
Now, when you do this at home, you should probably do it with a clean fork. I'm making this for me, myself, and I. Trust me, if you guys were here, we'd be eating together. Um, but we're going to mix that up nice and good. Because as long as you introduce flour to a fat, then you can introduce it to a liquid. It's like, it's like the universal friend. Fat knows everybody. Fat knows everybody in ways that probably would not help them if they ever ran for office. So people let fat into any party. So now that we've got a beautiful little roux going here, we can now introduce this to our stew. Roux, time to meet stew. See, this is what happens when I stream for more than three hours and I drink all the way through. Hopefully I get funnier. Hope that helps if you are having problems with your stew or anything else you need to thicken. There's a trick. Okay. Let's check on our biscuits. Oh, they're smelling good. That's what I wanted. <laughs> I just heard Bill yell, no, Connor, you cannot go outside. You are not a dog. <laughs> You can use cornstarch and water. I like to use those for anything that's not at a boil because, so here's the rule of thumb. If you're gonna use flour to thicken, you have to make sure whatever you're thickening it with is at a boil. If it's not at a boil or can't be raised to a boil, like if you're trying to thicken an apple pie, cornstarch is your, mm, excuse me, cornstarch is your friend. Me with the potato, I use a different type. Uh, do you use like the big dark brown russets or do you use like the tiny uh, red potatoes? Oh, it fixed the texture! Yay! Okay, that definitely needs some salt and pepper. I usually use a dark brown one. Ah, okay, so you're using russet potatoes. Russet potatoes are perfect for steaming mashed potatoes because they're very mealy and they respond very well to steam. In anything that you have to boil them in, they may not hold up well um, because they don't have that waxy quality that a Yukon Gold or definitely that a red uh, potato has. Hey Mel, do you wanna join the movie night in Peachy's Discord this weekend? I have no time. I got once we get done here, I gotta go edit. Uh, we have our Persona 5 coffee video coming up on Wednesday this week. If you haven't already yet and you want that in your sub playlist, you wanna hit the subscribe button down below. That would be great. Exactly, what I almost said. Great for mashed potatoes, not so much for stew because they will fall apart. Oh, she's looking so much better. She, he, he's looking so much better. That's right, we named him Stu. S-T-U, not S-T-E-U. Let's test. Damn, that's good. Okay. Biscuits to use two more minutes. Be 
you like crazy content? Cats and cooking. I love that. Please drop a like and hit that sub button. Yes, thank you guys so much for the likes. I Andrew knows this story. Um, okay, so rule of thumb, no matter what content you put on YouTube, you're gonna get some dislikes because it's a power, it's the only power that some people have in the world. They're like, you know, I get beat up on my boss, but hey, I can take this person and ruin their world with a dislike. So expect whatever content you put on YouTube, you're gonna get a couple of dislikes. Unless you get hate rated by someone and to the point that now you've had to delete the video that they decided to source because it had so many dislikes, it was throwing off everything else. So I definitely appreciate the likes. I know it's annoying. You Only YouTube cares about it, but it does help. Thank you, Emmy. Mm. Does need a touch more salt. There we go. You remember that story? Oh, it pissed me off. And I get it. Like, that's his thing. It's what he does. He looks for cringy content on the YouTube and makes fun of it. I am in no position to take offense to that until he found my content cringy. Oh, well, my ears about to go. Um, Pepper's Farm remembers. Fuck yeah, Pepper's Farm remembers. And honestly, that was my biggest issue. Why do I keep putting this right in front of that camera? It was like, I get it, the video was long, and thanks to him, oh my god, shut up, earbuds. Well, if I do that, no, this has to, oh shit. Okay, let's hope this keeps going. Um, so I've learned to shrink down my content, make it a little bit more focused. So, and honest thanks to him, that was really helpful. Shut up, earbuds. Um, but everything else was just like five minutes of calling me fat. Thanks, I didn't, like, you think I don't know? You think I haven't done anything to try to fix that? I don't think I ever got to see that video. That, oh, yeah. We were doing that for RM back in the day, just writing a welcome, you guys know. <laughs> Steve is going to be great with a thick toast. Oh, it's not a thick toast, but we are making some. Hmm, one more minute. It needs a little bit more browning. Oh, God, that's annoying. Hold on, let me see if I can do this. I'm gonna kill this. Okay, so hopefully you guys are still getting audio. I had to take that out. Okay, so let's see how, why did that just freeze? Um, hello, YouTubes. Okay, we're fine. I don't know why I still look so pink. That's so weird. We're good with stew. Thank you. I think actually our stew is pretty close to being done. Let me do a quick test here. I think it's at, definitely at the point that we can add in the chives. Let me clean off pork. And for this one, we're going to test the potatoes. So I think the carrots are definitely at a point that we're fine. Let's clean up our plating. I'm going to school now. Oh, thank you for hearing, uh, hanging out, Aries. All right. Let's make sure I have my last clean bowl. And the plate for our biscuits. Ugh, God, these are heavy. Sucker up. 
fill this over here because yeah. shaved parmesan completely up to you easy to jazz up. Alright. Oh, quick like bunny, quick like bunny, quick like bunny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Woo! That hurt a lot. I should not have done that. and all but it's making me super super pink hold on I gotta fix this I know I don't it's so sad Ama there we go okay maybe it's because the Sun has set what if I just do auto Wow you suck um, let's not do auto there we go done okay now I don't look so freaking white here it is yay do I have enough room I can take a quick thumbnail hold on oh. okay there we go camera Oh, do I have any more wine left? I'm out of wine. This is the end of our wine. Cheers to you guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. <laughs> you are ready to eat. You have an oven glove on. Use that. If I would have been smart, I totally should have. All right, let's taste this chicken. Oh, nice. nice texture. It is totally a party. so rich it's rich but not heavy I like I don't know how best to describe it let's throw a little bit of uh, biscuit in there look at that nice flaky that had nothing to do with making I should move the camera it's really tricky the sea salt on there that's really good thank you so much Serena I just ate but now I want this food thank you again mm. okay so now I know as I stream I'm gonna have to adjust the white balance because 
sun is going to be setting in the background, and otherwise I look like super pink. All right. I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out. If you haven't yet and you'd like to get more of this content, if you want to hit that subscribe button down below. Guys, thank you so much for the likes and for hanging out. You guys have made this so much fun. Next, not Sunday, Saturday, because Sunday is Super Bowl. Next Saturday, I'm going to be showing you guys an amazing recipe for the juiciest turkey burger you have ever had, accompanied with a gorgeous little German potato salad and how you can make your own aioli from scratch. So again, if you like to get that notification, hit the subscribe button down below. I am going to go shove my face into this stew. If you guys don't see me tomorrow for Death Row to Canada stream, then I, I, I join Van on the floor in passing out from food. Thank you guys again and I will see you awesome people. Tomorrow for our Death Row to Canada stream, Monday, 7 p.m. PE.